What's up, card community? Warriors, Warrior Card 65 here. I uh, have been a couple days without a video. Our last video, I did draw our 165 subscriber giveaway. JJZ uh, claimed his prize, claimed his two cards he wanted. Um, I'll let you watch his video and find out what else he got. Um, I would say his the rest of his cards were probably worth a lot more than the hits he chose, but um, tried to hook him up. It was great for me as a teacher to see a young guy win the uh, giveaway. I know everybody would have liked to win. I've never won a giveaway on anybody's channel yet. It would be awesome to win something sometime. Um, but I just, as a teacher of guys that, I don't know how old he is, but it was really cool to see a young guy um, that's in the end of the hobby um, so that it'll continue for everyone who's interested for years and years to come. Um, today we spent a lot of time out um, garage sailing. We found a few things here and there that were sports related, but a lot of it was about uh, picking up things for the baby. Um, we're due on August 1st, and I have shoulder surgery this week, or this month in about four weeks, less than four weeks. Um, I will be going under the knife. Um, so I'm not sure what that's going to mean for the channel. I'll try to maybe preload some videos, make a few extras, and then, um, or at least record them and then kind of release those in those few days periodically maybe. Um, I would like to figure out a webcam situation. I do have one, another one somewhere. I'd like to try them with my wife's uh, MacBook, but I can't find the other one, and we didn't get the one I have Um to work yet so for now no live content um since youtube doesn't allow us to do live until we're at a thousand with our phone or our ipads for that matter i tried with my ipad um the other day just to see what would happen um so the last thing i did though today i did um see a few sales where there were cards and i had messaged this one individual um to check if he had sold out all his stuff and he's like no man i got so much um you know like quarter box type of stuff and when i got there he he had like probably 50 sets from mostly the junk wax era one of them was like 83 tops but it was missing the big three um i have the sandberg but i don't have the other two but i did uh wind up buying some singles from him and uh he gave me this box to put everything in i bought some singles and then a couple of sets i think i wound up spending like maybe 25 dollars on this box so um the one thing is i'll go ahead and open this first we have a i just got him to do this as like a throw in i was like hey man i've never had that set um growing up or anything you mind throwing that in because there's not much there um there are a few minor rookies of roberto almar uh, Mark Grace, David Wells is in there, Tino Martinez, Robin Ventura, and Brady Anderson. However, when I open the box and I I message him on Marketplace on Facebook, I said, like, hey, man, I opened the box. This paper was in there. I flipped through them, and those main six cards are missing. Um, I may have the Tino or the Robin. I don't think I have the Wells. I know I have the Grace. I don't have the Alomar. And I don't think I have the Brady Anderson, but the rest of the set is there, um, I believe. I didn't count them and put them in order yet. I'm just, I'm not even on, honestly sure everything that's in this box. Um, the other set that I got from him, I know everything's in this one because it is still, still sealed. Um, he put this in for like $3. It's the 89 Rookies, uh, has Griffey in it. Um, several guys, but. So that was a nice set to pick up for like $3. Who can pass up a $3 uh, Griffey rookie? So um, so then I'm going to go through a few of the cards were in loaders or, or screw downs here. Uh, so I'll go through these first. This whole purchase was 25 including the sets and all these and everything. This first one I picked out, CJ Henry was a, a prospect for the Yankees. And then he wound up leaving the Yankees program, and he he played some college ball. And then he transferred to KU to play with his brother, Xavier Henry, who's, uh, last I checked, was a Laker. Um, but this is his uh, 2005 
first year card. So that's his first major league card or card of any kind, I guess, from Bowman Heritage. So that was a pretty cool pickup for me. Um, he wasn't that good a basketball player, but this Harden out of, uh, I don't know, is this Heritage? Um, I just picked up because he used to play for the Cubs. Um, picked up a Jabba Chamberlain rookie card. I don't think I had any. I remember he used to be really hot. These were, I just picked out anything I wanted. I've had some stuff I wish I would have got. I did get a Travis Hafner first year heritage. I got a Phil Hughes 52 tops or tops 52 design rookie card. Uh, first year Billy Buckner, uh, former Royal. I got the rookie of Chris Denorfia, former Cub. Uh, Rich Hill rookie. He was a Cub for a few years before he kind of fell off, and now he's back with the Dodgers and been resurrecting his career. I found a uh, relic, so I just threw it in the box. Why not? Um, Kaz Matsui. So that's available. It's numbered out of 610 out of 2005 uh, Showcase Fleer. I uh, threw in this Mark Grace rookie. I probably have like a dozen of it, but oh well. Um, I've seen these starting lineups in some of the um, the uh, videos that Jab's family does over flea markets, um, but I don't think I, I've never come across these starting lineups. I don't believe, but I did find this Billy Williams card. Um, it's encased and has like plastic around it and everything. Like this is like the most valuable card in the history of man. But um, yeah, I threw it in. Why not? Um, so that's all the stuff that's kind of packaged a little bit better. Um, my wife actually went through the Royals box that he had. I'm here in Kansas City, so of course there's a Royals box. And then I just dug through some other stuff. So these, I mean, I wound up paying maybe 8 to 10 cents each for them. So I just grabbed anybody that had played for the Cubs or, or Royals. So I got a Greg Maddox here, Jeff Samarja. Moises Salou, uh, Heritage Foil, the thicker base card. Um, another Rich Hill, uh, Alfonso Soriano, Corey Patterson, Rich Harden, Carlos Zambrano, Aramis Ramirez, Alfonso Soriano, um, Tom Gordon. Grabbed a Mark Pryor, Hobby Masters, Nomar. Hobby Masters. Um, this one had written on the sleeve. I just grabbed it because it's an 81 Winfield, so why not? Uh, 81 Winfield as well. Um, baseball Heroes, Ryan Sandberg. This is out of 2005. I'm not sure if I had this one or not, so I just went ahead and grabbed it for the PC. Um, got this Sandberg sticker from 87 Tops. Um, Fleer Limited Edition in Sandberg. Um, I just happened to grab the Sandbergs. He had to leave the sale right away at 3, so I, I didn't get there to about 2.30, so I ran out of time. I happened to come across the Sandbergs, so I did find a few. went ahead and grabbed the 70 home run. Uh, this is out of 99 opening day. I didn't even notice it was an opening day card, but I um, went ahead and grabbed that McGuire one. This is the Sandberg out of uh, Rising Stars or something like that. Um, 97 Fleer. And 94 Fleer uh, All-Star insert of Rhino. Um, Nomar. I'm not sure what this one's called. It's really old school um, feel to it. Uh, got our Xavier Nady, Mark Pryor, Garcia Parra, Nafi Perez, Moise Salou, Kerry Wood. So a lot of Cubs here in this stack. And then some other just random rookies. Darwin Barney rookie, Eric Patterson rookie, Billy Petrick, Nate Sherholtz rookie, Ian Stewart, Felix Pierre rookie, Miguel Montero rookie, Sean Gallagher rookie, Jeff Baker rookie, Brandon Moss was a Royal for a while rookie, uh, Carmen Pignatelio rookie, Nate Sherholtz again, Rocky Cherry, Homer Bailey's a Royals pitcher. He pitched today. They just completely demolished Detroit. Uh, Billy Petrick again, I think. Eric P. Eric Patterson, Felix P. A. Dynamic duo. Eric Patterson, his brother was Corey. He's a little better known. Ian Stewart, another Carmen. Uh, Jose Reyes, 
Felix PA, Homer Bailey again. So a couple of them I grabbed some duplicates. Um, no big deal. Just paid a couple cents for them. So, and honestly, I think if I'd had like 50 more cards, he probably would charge the same price. So, oh well. Uh, Cole Hamels, Joe Nathan, Ben Zobrist, Yonder Alonso. I just grabbed because I don't know his rookie card. Neftali Feliz. He was the Royal for a little bit. Casey McGee, former Cub. Kendry Morales, John Jay, James Shields, Mike Stanton Cup card. Just grabbed that. Derek Lee. Casey Coleman, rookie. Ryan Terrio. Dylan G was a Royal. Ted Lilly was a Cub. John Lackey, a Cub. Girardi was a Cub. Giovanni Soto. Jason Hayward is a Cup card, and he's a Cub. Yonder Alonso, rookie again. I don't even know if those are worth anything. I just grabbed them because he was a name. Most of the ones I saw were not really that big of names. Um, in the box, Chris Coughlin, Jason Kendall. Kosuke Fukudome, another Zobrist for my Royals collection, and an Austin Jackson Cup card. I don't know if you guys are interested in this stuff or not, but it's kind of neat to show. Now, my wife picked out the Royals, like I said. There's a lot of Royals here. She did a really good job. There was a huge, like, 5,000-count box, and she picked out the cool ones that she saw. Uh, Giordano, Grinky, Jermaine Dye. Uh, Everett Tiford rookie, Lucas May Duke rookie, Jeremy Jeffries rookie, Bo Jackson. I kind of have a side PC of Bo Jackson. I haven't really done much to add to it. Uh, Yordano Ventura again, Brandon Finnegan rookie, Billy Butler, Alex Gordon, Aaron Crow rookie, Lucas Duda rookie, Ben Zobrist, Johnny Damon, Bo Jackson, Jeff Montgomery, Kevin Apier. Michael Tucker, action-packed rookie. Uh, Greg Maddox. Uh, this was some inserts that I found. Maddox, hands of gold. It's a really cool gold gold glove insert. It's got a intentation of the glove. There were a few more of those. I should have grabbed all of them. Uh, Impact players, Manny Ramirez. Pretty sweet. He uh, worked in the Cubs system for a little bit, so I threw him in with my Cubs stuff. Why not? Uh, Maddox. I grabbed this uh, Elvis... A Raju, maybe, a rookie. It's a pink number to 50. So I threw that in. We got David Jesus, Carlos Zambrano, Tyler Colvin, Aramis Ramirez. This, keep, this keeps coming. Brandon Finnegan, rookie. Bo Jackson, uh, 86 tops reprint from uh, 01 tops. It's pretty cool. I don't, did not have that one, I don't believe. Um... We got another Bo Jackson from 05 Diamond Kings, a Bo Jackson uh, un unlicensed card from football. Here he is in a basketball uniform from Foot Locker. So that's pretty cool. That's from 91. Jermaine Dye insert, Giant Damon, John Buck, Alex Gordon, rookie, I believe. Nah, that one's not a rookie. Okay, <laughs> I looked at this at first. I'm not real familiar with the uh, Topps Gordon rookie. This is not it. It can't be. Um, but this is Alex Gordon rookie, Alex Gordon rookie from SP, Alex Gordon rookie from SP, a different one. Salvi Perez, Kelvin Herrera rookie, Mark Quinn, Saber Higgin, throwback, Saber Higgin, throwback again. Rolls team card, team card, Brett tops gold, Finnegan rookie, Jordana Ventura again, Benford first Bowman, Cody Reed first Bowman, Felix Jose gold, Brian McKay gold. Chris Gwingold, Kevin Apier, Team Card, Mustakis, Finnegan Rookie again, Jordano Chrome. Okay. About done with uh, the stack here. This is the last one, and then I got one little other item there. Conley, uh, Nolasco, Buck Coates, uh, Rafael Palmero. Um, Brandon Moss again, Matt Gar Matt Garza, first year card, Mandy Santana, Miguel Montero, first year mini. Um Joe Nathan was with the Cubs briefly. Michael Barrett, Corey Patterson, Montero rookie, uh Brett uh insert. It's Yount and Brett. It's a special card from uh, upper deck. Another Royals team card, Salvi Chrome. 
And Bjorks Burgos, he's actually uh, convicted of murder in his home country after the Royals traded him to the Mets. Um, yeah, he didn't pitch very long before he wound up going to jail. Here's a Salvi uh, pink chrome. It's nice. Zobris chrome. J.P. Howell. This is a neat card. Um, it's not Damon's rookie, but it has Damon on it. Ozzy Timmons from the Cubs. And Curtis Goodwin played for the Cubs. Uh, another Finnegan rookie from Stadium Club. Archives Finnegan rookie. And uh, Ovation Beltron. And Ovation Johnny Damon. Then the last one is one of these neat uh, discs from Tasty Freeze. Um, Bo Jackson, of course, they airbrushed. This was before uh, Panini started having to airbrush. It's not in perfect shape, but it's these are pretty cool. I find them from time to time. This is from 89. Um, so that was my $25 purchase. As you can see, a very large stack of cards, as well as um, the few that weren't related to my teams. And the two sets, minus a few. Um, so I wanted to do a whole box on video here, but I'm already at 16 minutes. I am claiming for myself the title of unofficial Opeachy Baseball Channel. Um, <laughs> I just seem to somehow stumble upon Opeachy anywhere I go. Um, there was a garage sale that my wife went to and picked up like probably 50,000 cards for me. Um, I told her it was there. I was at work. I said, hey, you're in the area. Go swing by. She bought this huge uh, sale lot. We've already gone through quite a bit of the cards. I have tons of old Junk Wax era sets to look through. I still like that stuff. I sold most of it a few years back. And a lot of those sets my parents had given me for my Christmas over the years and spent like $50 on a set that's worth $2. Um, so it's kind of neat to go back and try to reacquire some of those now that I can. Um, but she did wind up getting two of these boxes in 94 Opeachy. There's literally one rookie card in there of Ricky Batalico. I checked the, uh, the uh, checklist earlier. But this is an interesting box because there's a jumbo card in every box. I'm not sure if any other company had jumbo cards inserted in the box before this, so Peachy may have been cutting edge. The Canadians may have figured it out before us. I'm not sure. We also have the randomly inserted uh, inserts of Hot Prospects and Gray, and Hot Prospects, Blue Jays, Diamond, Diamond Dynamos, and Redemption cards. So they may have been the first Redemption card too. So boo to that. Um, there are 14 premium baseball cards and one special insert in every pack so we have like four different inserts to look for um and this was manufactured in london canada and under trademark license with tops so we have actually two boxes of this. I think what I'm going to do is at least start a box of this. I don't know if anybody's really interested in seeing a whole box. You'll need to let me know if you are. But I am going to at least uh, start into this. I have another box. Um, really disappointed that I haven't made a complete set from either of my other Opeachy openings. But I do have a second box of this. It was kind of a throw in. She's like, hey... He wants you to throw in these wax boxes to uh, seal the deal, and they did. We didn't get all the cards they had there, um, but we did get quite a bit. Um, they did have some pricier singles, and a lot of the sets, like I'm missing the Griffey out of Tops Traded. Um, like Things like that are just annoying. You have the whole set, and you're missing the only card in it worth anything. But... Here we go. I have taken the seal off. They also had their boxes sealed, so that's cool. I also have a 94 upper deck from that purchase, a second box of this product, and a box of 88 Opeachy from that purchase. So how about that? All right, so here's our jumbo card sitting on top. The suspense is killing me. Who is our jumbo card? Any guesses? It is wrinkled, and it is a card of Marquise Grissom. And you can see there's a wrinkle in it. 
Not sure how I would mail that out anyway. Um, I have some bigger top loaders. I have the ones that are like a full page, or I have the ones that are a little too small for that. That one is Marquise Grissom, and you can really see the uh, crease in it. So that one will just sit somewhere in my collection idly by. Um, that's okay. So you'll see one of those in every box um, if you were to ever open this product. And you can make that decision based off my video here if you like. I just about took off George Brett's Pine Tar bobblehead. All right, so these packs are green. Um, look kind of like the 93 uh, Premium. So I took out half the box. I'm going to probably, if I even open that many, that'll be it. My wife loves to open packs. She's over there right now taking 91 Fleer out of pages that were out of that purchase. So you know she loves me because that stuff's dreadful. Um, and they aren't even in the best of shape. But you never know. There's some other stuff mixed in. So I thought I might as well get them out of those pages. Either keep the pages or throw them away. Figure it out. So I am very nice. Nice to find out here. Oh, look at that. These cards are not a brick. First awesome thing. Second awesome thing. The first card is a Chipper Jones. How about that? I got about a million Chipper Jones to sell. I told Matt M, some other Braves fans, hey, when I get a chance to list them all out, which I wish I had a chance already, I'm really looking to sell some of them. I have a ton I got out of a collection I bought. All right, so we got Chipper, Roberto Hernandez, Here's our insert, um, Fred McGriff. Actually, let me look back. Yeah, that Roberto's, they're just colored different for the different team colors. There's our insert, uh, Fred McGriff, former Cub, first baseman, potential Hall of Fame candidate in the future. There's uh, differing opinions on that. Terry Pendleton, Will Clark, Bobby Jones, Don Mattingly, Cecil Fielder, uh, Charlie Huff, Juan Gonzalez, Moises Salou, Jeff Bagwell, Don Mattingly again, Cecil Fielder again, Charlie Huff again. Oh, oh, peachy. If every pack like this is like 81 Donruss that we saw Jabs open, I'm not going to be very happy. At least I didn't pay much for these. All right, we got Kirby, Rick Aguilera. Second insert is Albert Bell, All-Star. Steve Carsey, Dwayne Ward, Bob Welch, Carlos Delgado, Ozzy Guillen, Kevin Mitchell, Wayne Kirby, Damian Easley, Kyle Eldred, Dave Magadan, Chuck Knobloch, and Steve Michelle, whose son is a pretty good quarterback. Uh, last I saw, he was at the University of Texas still, I believe. Be nice to find a different kind of insert. Um, the last product we opened from them, we found one foil and one rookie. Um, the rookies weren't any good anyway, but um, another pack here. We got Ellis Burks, Rafael Palmero. Looks like our insert is always going to be the third card in. So it's not on the outside like the 93 product. That's a good thing, I think. Uh, Cecil Fielder, now Martin, Mike Stanley, Arthur Rhodes. Pedro Martinez, um, not the right one. That's the Padres, Pedro. Dennis Eckersley, Destrade, John Jaha, Eric Anthony, Julio Franco, Alan Trammell, and John Franco, and Rob Butler. Okay. Don't remember Rob Butler, really. Um, 94s, kind of when I did not collect much. Um, I think the strike kind of killed the hobby. Um, for about five years there. I did a little bit, but not much. Uh, Pagnazzi, Darren Dalton, Marquise Grissom. Um, didn't I already see? This is this guy's mini-me. All right. There we go. Steve Avery, Tim Belcher, Roberto Kelly, Manny Ramirez. That's a nice card. Uh, Brett Saberhagen's nice. Jeff Granger is a royal, but that's not very nice. Winfield, Pudge, Urbeck, um, Pete Harnish, Van Slyke, and Ray Langford. One neat thing about these is uh, 
it'd be kind of fun to send them to a, a team collectors that maybe are not as familiar with Opeechee. It'd be something, especially player collectors, would maybe like. I have not seen a lot of these. I know I've seen a few here and there, um, but they're not as readily available as a lot of the other junk wax. We got Larry Walker, Van Poppel. Um, got Paul Malder. Not bad. Brady Anderson, Dean Palmer, Greg Jeffries, Ricky Gutierrez. Ricky Gutierrez. I want to say this is his rookie year. I have to check. It may not be. Phil Pintier, Javi Lopez, Dave McCarty, Alex Fernandez, Charles Nagy, Kevin Apier, Jay Buhner, and Matt Williams. I'm probably just going to open like one stack of these. I'm hoping to find another kind of insert though. I'm a little disappointed by that. Eric Davis. This looks like the same ones. Bayerga. Um, this one is Tim Salmon. What's up with the angels and fish? They had salmon. Now they have trout. I don't get it. If they'd had Kevin Bass, that would have been a good team. Uh, Ken Hill, Mark Portugal, Chuck Finley, John Wetland, Jose Rio. John Wetland, I've been setting cards aside for my future child in case they're interested and I don't want them to be messing with my high dollar stuff. I will not put a John Wetland in that pile. There's a checklist. I actually tore a Darren Sharper card in half the other day just to show my wife how much I didn't care for him. Uh, Rod Beck, former Cubs closer. Raul Mondesi, he's in prison right now. His son, Alberto, is a pretty good young shortstop for the Royals. Marquise Grissom, Tony Gwynn, Greg Swindell, and Denny Martinez. I'm curious if anybody out there can comment. What's the only thing, the only player, Alberto Mondesi, also known as Raul Jr., is the only player in Major League history to do what? There's your little trivia. Now, there's this is not a live video. It's not a. I'm not going to send you a Tom Brady rookie card. But what is the he the only player in history to do? Paul O'Neill, Ron Karkweiss. Oh man, we got another Tim Salmon. Two in a row of Salmon. Not a big fan of Salmon. Too many bones. All right, Jay Bell, Pat Kelly, Kirk Rader, Oral Horsheiser, Jose Canseco, Omar Vizquel, Mark Langston, Roberto Hernandez, Dave Hollins, Brett Butler, Paul Malder, Jeff King. I'm not seeing a ton of my cubbies. I'm a little, a little worried. I think we're gonna stop after two more packs here. So if you've been sticking with me this whole time, I appreciate it. Um, Please recommend my channel. I'd love to make it a little bit wider reaching. There's a nice Barry Bonds. Paul O'Neill. I know some of you want to see my collection. Um, the way I have it organized is kind of difficult because I don't know how the sheets will show. I have a lot of my cards in sheets, but then I have boxes of, full of top loaders and stuff I don't have the right gauge for um, that I would be able to get out and share as well. Um, John Olerud insert here i have uh i have my collection on my personal collection and like sets and stuff that i'm trying to finish or have finished on tradingcarddb.com um i might see if i can how that works if i was to share that link if you guys could see it if you guys could send me things like in trade that i don't have that i need i'm not sure how that works as far as looking at an individual's page so if anybody knows just give me a little heads up on that all right we got bill swift dave fleming dave stewart Deion sanders daryl kyle john olrude walt weiss edgar martinez craig biggio john burkett tom hankey and ruben sierra i'm still kind of not very comfortable while i do these breaks i'm kind of hunched over um I've got a big old tripod that goes clear to the floor right now. I've heard that the there's a like an eight dollar tripod on Amazon. If anybody has any suggestions on tripods and setup, 
for these videos. I'm using an iPhone 6 um, that's kind of clamped in here with uh, an accessory I got for my wife on a selfie stick. Yes, she wanted one. Um, this is our last pack we're going to open on tape here. We're already at 30 minutes on tape. You know I'm old. All right. Uh, James Mouton. Chris Sabo. Nice. Look at those like rose-colored lenses. Those are for the past is alive. The rose-colored lenses. We got a Mike Piazza insert. Still all the same insert. So if I do another video in a couple days here and find a different insert in this product, I'll let you guys know. Uh, JT Snow, Hal Morris, Larry Walker, Rene Arocha, another checklist, Don Mattingly, Tony Phillips, Tim Salmon, Luis Gonzalez, Kevin Tappany, BJ Serhoff, Mitch Williams. So definitely still seeing cards I haven't seen. Um, this checklist on this set is a little bit larger, I think, um, than the last one. I can't remember off the top of my head how many cards are in it. Um, so some future videos. I do have <laughs> another uh, Ilpichi product, 88. It, it's the Topps clone. It's not the separate looking set like these have been. Um, I have an Upper Deck Series 2 box that she picked up there. Um, it has. It doesn't have like the Jordan and A-Rod like official rookie, but it has rookie year cards in there. Has some other rookies, uh, Billy Wagner rookies in there, a few others. Um, I still have some hanger boxes of 2018 supplies, just like a top series one, a, a series two, and then a Don Russ left of those from Cargo Largo. Um, not real happy with the amount of money I spent at Cargo Largo and the stuff I found. Um, one of the best cards I probably found out of all of that was this Harper insert numbered to 10. So if there's anybody interested in that card out there, um, it's the BH-8 from 2018. There were, there were Harper cards in a lot of the boxes, but this one is numbered out of 10. So you can see that numbering right there. Um, it looks pretty good. I don't see any damage really. There's a little bit of a soft corner up here. Um, uh, not too bad. And it's numbered out of 10, so there's not going to be that many out there. Um, so if you have any uh, requests, anything that you'd like to maybe start trying to make a deal with, I am going to be coming up on summertime here. I have 12 more days with students, and I have been counting for about two weeks now. Um but I'm, I'm actually, the day after I get out of work, I'm going to take a little overnight trip to Omaha and watch the Omaha Storm Chasers, which is the Royals AAA team, play the Iowa Cubs. I know, uh, I think Nicky Lopez is there. He's really hot prospect for the Royals. MJ Melendez may be there. I'm not sure. Um, but I know Ian Happ and Addison Russell will most likely be playing for Iowa. So I'm pretty excited for that. We got like a 30 some dollar hotel room up in Omaha and the seats were sitting right next to the dugout um, both games and it'll be fun I haven't really been to much minor league ball I did go to Wichita Wranglers back when they were double A for the Royals way back in early high school with my Babe Ruth team that I played on um, but yeah I'm uh, then I'm going to be having surgery on May 30th so we'll see what happens then I am interested. I do want to keep growing the channel. I do want to start selling a lot of stuff. Um, trades are cool too. Um, there's just so much. If I just look around me, I'm overwhelmed right now. I have like 100,000 cards, like 20,000 are stars and rookies that I need to sort and inserts. And there's so much of it. And it is kind of overwhelming. So if you have requests, things you'd like me to check for, whether it's player I can write it down. It may not happen overnight, but if you have a list, you can send me that. My wife helped me out with my about page. She did put my email on there. It's my, I made an email just for this channel. It's warriorcards65 at gmail. Um, so yeah, if you have any needs, if you have any requests, I appreciate your time. If anybody's watching, um, have a great rest of your weekend. And, uh, 
Yeah. Enjoy Cinco de Mayo tomorrow. Goodbye.